and welcome back happy to Sunday. Happy Sunday. Scotters go off grid, or as our friend said the other day, goof. Scoof. Scoof. Scoof grid. Scoof grid. <laughs> anyway, I digress. We had a lovely weekend. We went over to the newbies, had a picnic, and tried out a super cool gadget that they were test driving. It's epic. Test driving? Yeah, I suppose. Um, a super cool gadget that they were testing. So if you don't already follow them or watch their videos, go check them out. I'll put their link down below there. It's at the newbies and they're our besties and they're awesome. So yeah, go check it out. This weekend, this week is super busy. We're going to get the roof up. Oh yes. This is the roof week. We'll finally have the barn finished, hopefully. But. But. I think I've been found out. Happened. Well, I may not have done the roof all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> we said it was going to be only the two of us building. I know, but my amazingly handsome friend from England, <laughs> who happens to be a roofer, may have intervened and said that he couldn't possibly bear to see me do this alone. Yeah. And properly. Oh man, they need help putting the roof on. If only we knew a roofer. Someone say roofer. Let's go. lovely roof. I'm really super happy that we went for green. We thought it'd be more sympathetic to well, the greenery around us because I think normally they come in like a terracotta colour or white I think. But anyway so we've gone for green and they're all covered in this like protective plastic which I'm going to peel off now. just all of those to unwrap front and back oh yeah okay right the time has come we are going to get the roof up we're going to get one and try and figure out how we're going to wiggle it into place get it squared and then it will just be a case of pop 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 ridge ta -da! We hopefully hope. all today obviously we've got the help of our lovely friend mike who happens to be a roofer who happens to be a roofer So we thought, well I say we, Mike and Badger thought the best way to get these roof sheets on would be pass it from this level of the terrace up and over onto the other side of the roof. Ashford. 
Do you want me to hold it from underneath? We've got it all on in one day. Oh, that is incredible. Ridge. Tomorrow morning we'll get a little bit of ridge up. This bit. That's plenty for today. It's amazing. Feels like a like a proper barn now. Yeah, it does. Seems bigger. Mm. It does seem bigger. I thought that. It's crazy. Yeah. Seems a lot bigger. I think with the wind coming out underneath and the sun being insulated off the top, I think it'd be nice and cool in here. Yeah. It definitely feels cool in here. And then we've got our bathroom going over there. Wow, well, a little compost toilet. We can move all the washing machine in for now. Mm. Now we've got to build the house, yeah? <laughs> all right, let's talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> and the ridge is on. All right, all right. The ridge is on. Nearly. Here we go. The roof is on. How mega is that? The ridge is on, the roof is on. And I'll walk around now and show you from underneath. Here we go. We are so, so happy with it. Definitely feels bigger than we thought it would. But actually, it fits so snugly into this little terrace that it doesn't feel too kind of overpowering um, on the land. And because our house isn't going to be massive, this space in here for storage, for tools, for everything is going to be completely invaluable. It's going to be such a lifesaver. So today's job, we're going to take all these supports out. These ones that have been up forever. All these side bits. Oh, Crumbs is going to help us. Can you help us today, Crumbs? Yeah? <laughs> um, so yeah, take all the supports out and kind of, Bud is going to trim these bits at the top, neaten up, and then we can start moving stuff in and tidy the land up a bit. This is what I mean by storage. Look, we've got all our wood treatment there. We've got, well, that's an oak tree that's been sliced. So we need to move that in. The lawnmower. Um, yeah, just have a jolly good tidy up because, yeah, it's not very tidy down here and it's quite stressful um, living around this chaos. So yeah, I'm excited for the next little move in Taiwan.
Last few supports about to come down. Is the whole barn gonna fall down, Badger? Yes. <laughs> no, of course it's not. Look at it, it looks so much bigger. Without all the supports, doesn't it? Yeah. It's amazing how such a little thing can make a big difference. Yeah. Awesome. Now we just need to, I say we, <laughs> Badge needs to trim the little bits that are coming off the end. And we're nearly done. We also need to add guttering and we're gonna put the cladding up on this triangle bit here um, to finish it off. But yeah, we're getting there. be fun if we did a new thing on our videos if we did three portuguese words a week what do you okay. reckon yeah. yeah yeah so think of three words uh -huh. got mine got your words yeah I'm okay really go on then mine. okay mine first is um the first one is stop yeah Bada. the next one is arosh is rice yeah and the next one is salsicha sausage. Well done. Good job. And Wilfred, what are your three words? Uh, jogador de futebol. Mm. Football player. Beautiful. Uh, soldado. Soldier. And pescador. Uh, fisherman. Great. Well done. You awesome. don't know what to do. Every time you... Um, a bee is just getting one um, on a flower now and it's just collecting the um, pollen and um, it's going to our beehive. Goes down to our beehive? Yeah. Wow. Down there. Yeah? I only picked one flower. Just one. For you. Thank you. Please don't say they're super kind of been, they've been aged outside so I'm going to sand them down and then treat them with the bug treatment um, for the compost toilet. So this one isn't quite cutting the mustard so we're going to bring in the big guns. <laughs> it's <a new> turn on. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like... <laughs> anyway, I will be bringing in the big guns when I manage to turn it on. Right, take two, bringing in the big guns. Woo! Yeah, 
I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just making a little triangle bit that sits on the end of the barn. So I think we finally got to the stage where the compost toilet construction is finished. We just need to clad uh, the inside and the flooring and then clad the outside and build a door and uh, we should be complete. But I'll turn around and show you. So we've got all the walls up. We've got a little headboard. We've got the seat with a convenient place hole in the middle. It's all going to be pallet wood, I think, the inside. And then that nice cladding Kayla's been sanding on the outside. So we are finally ready to fully clad and get it in functioning order. Right, so I've got the toilet seat temporarily on. Let's see if Kayla wants to give it a try. Kayla? Oh, Sorry. do you want to come try my toilet seat for height? Oh, yeah. Good, doesn't it? It's pretty precarious, so don't like wobble around on it. Okay. Mind your head as you get in. Ooh. Moment of truth. Perfect. Good height? Yeah. Yeah? See out the window? See out the window? Your legs aren't dangling? No. I guess it'd be a tiny bit higher as well, wouldn't it? A little bit. No, no, I'll put it on pallets, it'd be. That's really cool. Yeah? Nice place to have a poo. Lovely place. To have a poo. <laughs> <laughs>
Now time for some more sanding. your door badger <laughs> well, it's a little bit experimental but i'm going to try and clad it and cut the door as i go so i've screwed the frame in place yeah then when it's clad and i've cut all the way up and i'll make sure that i finish a bit of cladding there the same as i have there but when i take the door off and rehang it it should all match all the way through we hope we hope <laughs> we always live in hope just sanded the top of the kind of toilet bench and then the toilet seat will go there in the middle you can see the difference spiky at the sawmill nice and soft no splinters on the bottom I don't know where she's gone Gator? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You've got another 25 boards to sand. <laughs> I've had enough of sanding. It's given up. <laughs> well, we've got nowhere to boo yet. Look how soft it is, though. <laughs> it's all soft and sanded. I was also lying here thinking, why build a house? We could just move into the toilet. It's quite yeah. small for five. <laughs> quite. I'm happy on my own in here, to be fair. <laughs> Not much privacy when you have a poo. No. <laughs> Very comfy, got a little window, view of the sky. Come on, we've got 25 more boards <laughs> to sand. No! Little shed within a barn. <laughs> we'd, we'd be a lot closer if you'd sand some boards. <laughs> I'd run out of board. So we bought these two buckets. One for under the toilet, one as a spare. Um, for the toilet bucket. We've also come up with the idea to do a, what's it called? Pulley. A pulley system. So that's why we've got these chains and rope. And there's the toilet. And if we go down here, right down this terrace, down there, you can't quite see, is actually the compost. So our plan is to lower it on a pulley so we don't have to kind of cart the tubs around the land and um, hopefully it'll work. So yeah, lower it down, tip it out, clean it out, pull it back up. plan is I've got this old recycling bin and it's the perfect poo chute into the bucket. One of the criteria from the children and Kayla was that the seat was far away from the bucket so it didn't feel like you were on a compost bin anymore. So I'm just going to cut the bottom of this off, screw this underneath like that and then that would be a chute all the way down. Yeah, then. Mm. I I say the kitchen's 
should be there, but the wood is there. Oh, the kitchen? Yeah. Well, this is the a storage barn. We're not. This isn't our house. But the, Daddy oh, said I to see. do a chick, um, chicken here. Kitchen. A kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah. Do you like it, Boo? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, 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 we can we can put our yoga my yoga sling um on one of these. Yeah, we could do, couldn't we? Yeah. Roof barn done, compost toilet almost done. So tune in next week to see the finished compost toilet. What a week it's been! Thank you so much for watching. Can't believe the barn is finally done. The compost point toilet is almost done. And yeah, I don't know what we're doing next week, but we'll see you next Sunday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. Hit the bell. Ciao. Bye.